What's the difference between stocks and bonds for investing? The difference between stocks and bonds is quite like the difference between eating a steak and sipping on Granny's old school chicken soup. They're both food, but boy, oh boy, they play different roles on the dinner table. Let's start with stocks. Owning a stock is a bit like owning a slice of a company. When you buy a stock, you're getting a piece of ownership in a corporation, typically called shares. If the company does well and starts raking in more profits or grows in value, so does your little slice of the pie, which means your shares might be worth more than you paid for them. It's the exciting but oh-so-volatile side of investing. Now glide over to bonds. Bonds are the more reserved cousin at the family get-together. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending money to a company or government. In return for your loan, they promise to pay you back the full amount on a specified date and will pay you a bit of interest along the way, usually at regular intervals. It's like putting your money into a disciplined savings routine that gives you predictable returns. But here's the rub, and yes, there is always a rub, risks and returns. In the grand scheme of Portland rain and sunshine, stocks are the unpredictable storms and sunny days. They can be wild, they can make your investment soar, or they can test your patience and resolve as they take a nosedive. Bonds, on the other hand, are your more predictable drizzle, less dramatic, but they keep your investment garden steadily watered, providing regular interest payments. One's not inherently better than the other. Look at your investing like a cup of Portland's favorite coffee brew. The balance of flavors is key. Diversification is your friend. A splash of stocks for growth potential, a sprinkle of bonds for income and stability, and you've got yourself a balanced financial breakfast. So keep in mind, when you're gearing up to park your hard-earned money, consider how much excitement versus reliability you want in your financial diet. Stocks, bonds, a crafty mix of both. That's your kitchen to play in. And with investing, it's not always about what you make but what you keep. Choose wisely.